In the video game world of extreme sports, Tony Hawk runs the streets, SSX conquers the mountains, but out there alone in the seven seas lives the surfing games, where Kelly Slater's shaking his fist saying, why do you get all the games, Tony? Well, I only have this singular title. To find the real answer to this question, I thought I'd dive in, get on my board, and paddle out to the forgotten world of surfing video games. Ooh, cowabunga. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer 2002, developed by Treyarch, the same team that made Black Ops. Now, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer came out around the same time as Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, hence the similar box art and Tony Hawk being a playable character. The game begins on a party boat, where I started the career mode as Donovan Frankenrider because of his hair and mustache. I thought it was cool. And a common theme with these games is that it takes a while to figure out how to simply move and not bail every time. But before I knew it, I was carving the waves, entering the treacherous tube, hitting some manual combos, aka stalling, then launching out full speed and doing a 540 roast beef grab. I couldn't believe my eyes. The amount of smooth trick lines you can do is off the charts. Just look at this clip I'm showing you. I'm definitely doing something cool here. Maybe a pop shove it or a heel flip. And like our friend Tony Hawk, you also have a special meter, and you can fill it quickly by doing a floater on top of the wave, kind of like a grind. And when your special meter's full, you get special. The game itself progresses by completing goals, like reaching the target score, staying special for a certain amount of time, whether it's 10 seconds, 15 seconds, it could be any amount of time, or even crazy ones like jumping over the pier. This is just like the helicopter in Tony Hawk's Underground 1. That's the best thing I ever filmed. You can then move to new locations that are all different in their own little way. Like I said before, it's water. There's only so much that can change. Obviously the size and color of the wave. Maybe you change the direction. Before I was going left, now I'm going right. It's completely opposite. There's all new types of gameplay. Even add some fire on a level called Tiki God. This could have a connection to the Tiki in Tony Hawk's Underground 1, but it's all pretty cool. This game is a sleeper, and I'd recommend trying it out. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Now, why don't we move down the tier list a bit? The Sunny Garcia Surfing 2001. Do I smell a rivalry? Maybe. And right off the bat, it looks cheap. It reminds me of one of those old MTV dating shows, and the characters' faces look like they've been screen printed on. This face sucks, but I'm being too harsh. What about the immersive gameplay? The character movement is so realistic, I feel like I'm in the game. He is literally me. They went really heavy on the ragdoll physics. It was like playing an old Flash game on Miniclip or something. I'm also not sure if you can do any tricks. All I was able to do was ride up and down the wave, which I guess is still realistic, so it's kind of fun for what it is. Although what it does have on Kelly Slater's surfing is the ability to ride the wave all the way in instead of just going sideways. This game is truly a special treat. Five out of 10. And it may or may not have been built on the PS1 version, Championship Surfer 2000. I think it's the same series, it has all the same characters, and the game kind of feels the same except this time on a PS1. And that's a good thing because for a PS1 game, the movement felt kind of smooth. It felt good, it felt great. I felt like I was really John John Stewart. What's his name? The only suspicious part was my character's voice because I'm using a kid character and he sounds like this. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'll allow it. Six out of 10. Either way, let's see what the other PS1 game had to offer. Surf Riders, or in Japan, And I played the Japanese one first. The only difference was that Senpai Hayashi was not in the American version. He was a blood type A. He could have donated. Otherwise, once again, I couldn't figure out how to win. But don't get me wrong, after 20 minutes of trying to figure out how to even get on my board, I was cruising. I even pulled off a 360, and that's about it. The levels are just big side-scrolling waves, so you'd think it'd be a little more straightforward, but a common theme in this video is my skill issue. I did only play it for like 30 minutes, but this is a plug and play style video. I actually kind of like this one. It's obviously really old, but it doesn't feel cheap. Also, the character models look like they're from RuneScape or the wood guy from Tekken. I approve. 6.5 out of 10. That's still passing. We're on a hot streak. Hopefully this next game doesn't end it. Surfing H3O, a rockstar game and the clunkiest one of them all, where the main objective is to collect various colored items, all tied together with the worst controls ever. You turn by pushing the left stick up or down, but why? Why can't I just control the character normally? On top of that, the camera camera constantly snaps back and forth. I was getting whiplash. But when I started, it was even worse because I skipped the tutorial. You only use the obscure buttons in this game and it's making me mad. But I'm not gonna fully hate. The game itself looks pretty good. The water's beautiful. The atmosphere makes you feel like you're getting wet. You know, I didn't give it much of a chance because I didn't want to. Four out of 10. But here's where my spirits rose from the depths. Trans World Surf, 2001. So far the best put together besides Kelly Slater. And in its own way, it's even better. I only played the first few levels, but it was the best design out of all of them. It has an open world feel to it. If you don't want to surf, you can just sit in the water. But when you do want to surf, there's multiple waves to choose from via jet ski pickup. And most importantly, the controls are normal again. And doing tricks was hard at first because of the low speed. But the more I learned how to carve the waves, the faster I became. And soon enough, I was doing 360 grabs and almost jumping over boats. I was doing all kinds of things. I'm inside the tube. I'm jumping over the tube. I'm doing unlimited things.
Overall, I'd give this one an 8 out of 10. I'd actually continue playing this. Good times all around. And what better way to tie it all together than with Surf's Up 2007. The greatest movie adaptation of all time. A game that doesn't care about the realistic physics of surfing. Just some good old laid back fun. Very straightforward objectives. Just hit the target score by spamming the same trick over and over again. Rock out! And if you want to get outside the wave, you can skate around, maybe even grind a little bit, etc. You can unlock cool characters like Tatsui, straight from Japan like Max Surfing 2000. There's in-depth customization. Just look at all these options. I haven't seen this many options since I was given a lot of options. Look at these boards. The Tiny Wonder. Why don't we make it red and then throw some flowers on it? Then we can really get down to business. It's a very cookie cutter game, but it's what you'd expect and more. Matter of fact, screw surfing. Let's slide down this treacherous path on a leaf. The possibilities are endless. 7.5 out of 10. Now overall, I understand why surfing games aren't popular anymore. Snowboarding games aren't even popular and they're universally loved. I think these games are just too limited by having to be in water. Maybe there could be like a surfing game where you're also a pirate. So you steal some loot and then you, you do surfing competitions for that loot. I'm still waiting for that game. This video is kind of short, so I'm gonna sing about riding on a wave. I was riding on a wave and I saw a little shark. He was in the water and the water's getting dark. He was gonna eat me. Then I said, please shark, don't eat me. I said, hey shark, what is your name? He said, my name is Joe, what is your name? He said, hey. He's riding on a wave in the deep blue. Me and Joe are the best of friends. We're gonna ride till the very end. I hope he isn't lying about not eating me. Me and Joe went together to the ballroom dance. Me and Joe went and we did a little dance uh. He's riding on a wave in the deep blue And that's the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, why don't you drop a like down below, maybe leave a comment. Better yet, go ahead and check out one of these videos I have right here. It's a great time, trust me. And like always, I appreciate you guys so much, and that's about it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Ha! <laughs>